super glazing adds great flexibility to the whole line. Before, first of all, you have the product in your salon already. You have the permanent color and you have the demi color. So you don't have to buy anything else. By mixing those two together equal portions, I can make the super glazing colors. And I like to use super glazing for a number of reasons, Tom. First of all, <clears throat> keep in mind, by using super glazing, I can achieve up to one level of lift, uh, which is great. So I don't have to worry about, for example, someone's darker hair going too light. And by same token, I can get maximum deposit because of the extra uh, color that's in the, um, that's in the deposit only colors. Okay. And I found this to be great for a number of reasons. First of all, by only creating one level of lift, but still getting good, great coverage, when the hair starts to grow out, let's say for, for example, a person is salt and pepper, when their hair starts to grow out, what super glazing gives you as the hair starts to grow out is what I call a diffuse line or demarcation. So it doesn't have a strong root line per se, like permanent hair color would, but by the same token, you do have great coverage. But the, the line demarcation is kind of diffused because the color tends to kind of fade some, but not enough that, 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 that the gray is all exposed. So that's one reason, one way I like to use it. The other way I like to use it is I love to use it on my male clientele, coloring men's hair. Um, I always hate to see men's hair color that looks like just like dyed hair. You know, just like somebody grabbed them by the feet and dunked them into a vat of dye and they have this dark, dark hair or this dark brown hair. So I've always hated that look on men. I always like it when you color men's hair, they look softer, more natural. Maybe having a little bit of gray mixed in there still that, you know, that it doesn't look that they really color their hair. But beyond that, what I really like about super glazing is that, is that because you can only achieve one level of lift with super glazing, if you put it on a male, per, on a, on a male client, his hair is not going to turn orange. You know, Tom, if you get a regular customer, a guy comes in, he wants to cover his gray, for example, and you put traditional permanent color on him, it may look great the day he leaves. But when he comes back two or three weeks later or a month later for his touch-up, his hair is going to have some shade of red. It's going to, it depends. If he's in the sunlight, it can look orange or it can look you know, a deeper red. It can look mahogany. And I, I look at it this way. If I take a female client and I color her hair and she leaves and she comes back a few weeks later and she well left here, she was a brunette, she comes back, her hair has a little bit of a reddish cast to it. She may not like it, but she's not going to be too worried about it. But you take a guy, like a conservative, like a banker, a lawyer, or a businessman, and you make his hair orange, now you got a problem. Because he's going to look ridiculous, he's going to hate it, and all his buddies at the, at the club, at the golf club, are going to all like make fun of him for having red orange hair. By super glazing, because it only get one level of lift, you're not going to get orange hair. So even he can color his hair, you got blended line demarcation. It looks very nice, natural, and soft. And that's another way that I use it.